Hey guys, welcome to my channel. All fish tank lovers, aquarium lovers, discus tank lovers, plant tank lovers. This video is all about how I do my discus uh, tank filter cleaning and uh, what is the process involved here. So pretty much this filter gets full of gunk in about three, four months. Take the filter out, um, take the water and keep some water aside from um, the filter. Use uh, a container where I can do this uh, uh, process. So this, this one has three compartments of only biomedia. I don't have any other media in this. Uh, it is just biomedia and the sponge. So you can look at like how gunky and dirty it is. Um, so there are three compartments, like like I said. So each compartment has only the biomedia in this one. And this the first compartment uh, dismantled. I'm going to go do my second one right now. And uh, the second one is again sponge and biomedia in the middle. Um, so pretty dirty. Uh, I have another FX um, filter with chemical bio and biomedia in it. So kind of take all the sponges apart, uh, keep it all aside and take the filter water and put it in a bucket, um, which I already collected about half of it from uh, when I uh, removed the filter. So this is what I do with the biomedia. I just dip it in and shake it really well. Um, so it's okay if, uh, um, you know, if this one is not completely uh, uh, cleaned and uh, it being it a little dirty it's it's okay uh, because there is some very good bacteria that helps the tank um, in this biomedia so I don't want to lose it do not ever run this this media under tap water because the tap water is uh, chlorinated and it will kill the beneficial bacteria um, so all the good bacteria that you accumulated in the filter will die if you run it through the tap water tap water so basically just take it out and some of these filters come with two compartments like you can put the biomedia and look at how nicely I have stacked those uh, uh, media um, so you can uh, dip and shake as much as possible that's what I do and then I go to the sponge filter uh, sponges uh, that's uh, in the filter so take it dip it and again here also do not run this under tap water there are some good bacteria in the sponge in the sponge um, that you need for your tank. Um, so there, there are misconceptions about doing this and running it in tap water. I used to do this earlier, but I faced quite a bit of issues because the bacteria takes a lot of time to uh, kind of develop in your tank or in your filter. And this is the, the other sponge filter. Um, it is really gunky, it is yucky. Um, yep, it is very, very yucky, but you know, this all comes with a hobby. So dip it in, nicely squeeze it, and uh, you know, it, it just that you do it very well. So then I take those, put it, put it back into the the filter, and uh, like so, like I said, this filter only has my biomedia in it. Uh, I don't keep anything else on this. So put everything together, and uh, just two sponges. Um, one in the, on the topmost compartment and then one on the top, on the bottommost compartment. But that's pretty much it. Once that is done, take it back. I put it back in the main um, uh, chamber, put it back. And this is golden fertilizer. So this can be used on all my house plants. You can see all my house plants here. So I just put it in. These are all tropical plants that I bring it inside uh, during the winter. Um, just keep it and then uh, here's the filter all put together and good to go um, So here just you have to make sure that you know the hoses are uh, just screwed nicely and tightly so that you don't have any low leaks um, so once that is done I uh, I just start the the process of getting water into my filters start with the, the inlet just halfway around and then I open up uh, on the outlet again the same thing halfway around so it'll start filling up the water. And these filters are uh, self-priming. So once that is done, you can see that the water is kind of going inside the, the filter. And uh, these are very nice filters um, that, I, uh, that I've been using for a while. It's expensive, but uh, they do the job really well. And this is new. This is only about uh, three, four months old. I just uh, replaced it with a new filter. Um, so 
so that's pretty much it. And once then, uh, once it starts filling in, you just have to take it to the full well and uh, uh, to connect it. Um, and if you have uh, an angry wife who uh, who wants everything clean and is uh, just pretty much, she'll, she'll give you all kinds of hard time if you don't clean up the place as well, but really enjoys the tank, that's a different thing. So do this well, because uh, you don't want to be in trouble. So do the cleaning part very well. So take time to clean up wherever you did this mess, like I did here, and uh, take a good towel, wipe it off, so that it's very nice and clean. Put some uh, you know, sanitizer or whatever to make it smell well. Um, so all those uh, is, is important, so that you don't get yelled at and uh, for doing a good job on the filter, but bad job on the cleaning. So again, that was the funny part, but uh, uh, then this water that I said, it is filled with good fertilizer. I use it on my house plants inside and then whatever is left out, I just use it on the outside of my plants. Um, so they are very rich in uh, all kinds of contents. The most important part also is to wash your hands with warm or hot water uh, because the water you touched is all filled with bacteria and stuff. So you don't want to get it into your skin, skin and stuff. So use a good soap, clean and uh, wash your hands really, really, really well. And after everything, go subscribe. That's pretty much it for this video. See you in the next one. Bye. Bye.